Um, I get asked a lot about emotional mood swings or headaches. And, and one of the things, and, and I experienced that a lot, especially during an extended fast. And one of the things I learned from Megan was magnesium um, and a need for that. And the best way to get it through a bath or through a foot bath, right? Putting, you know, Epsom salts into a foot bath and letting it soak. And I just love how this solution to this issue we're having requires a spa-like action. So I'm, I'm like super into that because then I have an excuse to go to the bathtub and soak in Epsom salts and like feel better. So I loved that and it solved a lot of my emotional mood swings that I would have during a fast with the magnesium. So that really helped me. Um, I, I wanted to simplify fasting. I feel like when we hear 18-6 and OMAD and alternate day and timer, like it gets really overwhelming. And what I wanted in the beginning was someone to just tell me like, what was the right answer for me? Like, just tell me, like just, and I, I told uh, Dr. Fong and Megan when I met them in person, like, just tell me what I need to do. And, and they couldn't. And the reason why is because it's, they don't know the answer for me. They know all of the possibilities and the parameters I can explore, but I have to discover the answer that's right for me, just like everyone else does. And we are so programmed to ask doctors to just know this answer for us um, that we have to, like you talk about, listen to our own body, find our own way, find what works for us, both physically, emotionally, spiritually, and all the ways that we need to reach for ourselves. And so I wanted to talk about stepping into fast in the laziest way possible, in a way that was right for us, with respect to whatever our own goals are. Because everybody has different goals that they'd like to achieve. For me, being 185 to 195, coming from 300 pounds is a success and my end point. For some people, they're starting at 185 and 195 and want to go somewhere else, right? And I respect that. Um, and, and some people are doing this for health, some people are doing this for looks, some people are doing this for whatever it is, comfort. And, and I think that humans should be respected for their own choice of their bodies and taking care of it and, and help to have information that will get them there, regardless of whether they have money or not, they, they need this information.